I am here talking with Shondell Joyce, who teaches acrylic painting and pastel at Dunedin mm -hmm. Fine Arts Center. Um, so, uh, Sean, first of all, you are a professional artist. So, yes. tell us about that and when you decided to make art a full time career. Well, I made art a full time career in 2001, and I started a series of outdoor painting classes, plein air in the Hudson River region. And we followed in the footsteps of the Hudson River School. So we painted in some of the same places. Uh, we also had an environmental aspect to our school where we tried to preserve open space and the landscape. Um, and it became wildly popular. And that led to a brick and mortar school, uh, which I was the executive director of for about 20 years and during that time began to really love teaching. So that was my introduction to teaching and making a living from my art. Oh, that's wonderful. And how long have you been teaching at DFAC? Well, not long enough. And it's just been a couple of years, but in that time I've developed a following and have come to know quite a few of the people who are part of our community. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so uh, talking about the, um, the students that come to the art center, um, what would you say to somebody that thinks they don't have any artistic abilities? Well, artistic ability is a skill. It's learnable, it's teachable. And it's something that if you just have somebody point you in the right direction, give you a little bit of encouragement and some basic techniques and skills, then you can really build upon it. And having a teacher and the class to show up for every week really does help you focus on your, your talent and abilities and hone them into what you could be. Hmm. So you have um, classes for beginning acrylic painting and mm -hmm. also some intermediate. Could you tell us about those classes? I would be happy to. With the beginning classes, you get to learn different brush skills and how to use these crazy tools like a palette knife and uh, what the different shaped brushes are good for and how to use them to make beautiful paintings. And every week you learn a skill, you learn how to draw, how to mix color, and you make paintings like these. And I'll show you a few samples. These are from last session's class. And this is a nocturne, and we do these paintings in uh, a whole class. So this is a three hour session, and you're taken through the process step by step from start to finish. So even if you never held a paintbrush, you're gonna finish a painting. All of these paintings were done as samples, uh, some with palette knives, some with brushes. And with each class, we go through the process. So you learn to see color as value, to make a value sketch, to match your colors, and then to make a beautiful painting that's based on the sketch and the materials that you just made. Well, that's beautiful work. Um, so you're also teaching some still life classes. What would students be learning in those <clears throat> classes? Well, still life classes are a little more advanced. And when you have some of the basic skills down and you're able to differentiate five values from dark to light, you know how to mix your paints, you know which brushes to use, then you need a challenge. So that's where still life and plein air come in. They help you hone your ability to see. Here's some samples uh, from a still life class. And this is, the sample uh, of a class that I demonstrated at Dunedin Fine Arts Center. And we talked about the perspective of ellipses and using proportion. Here's a, another example. This is from last week's class. And in it, we work from direct observation. We learn how to make the forms volumetric so that you see the values and the shading. Um, and then in the plein air class, we actually meet on site and we do paintings at each location. This is from Tarpon Springs. 
And in the process, we learn about the color wheel. We make our own. We learn to see color as value. And we learn how to mix greens, which you can use quite a few different routes uh, to get to your final destination. And you can see in this painting how mixing greens can be important in this area. We have a lot of beautiful color in our landscape. That is really beautiful. That's Honeymoon Island. Ah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> So you also teach classes and workshops in pastel. Um, yes. Is, is pastel a difficult medium to learn? Well, in my opinion, pastel is like finger painting for adults. <laughs> you get your hands dirty. And, and in this day and age, that's a lot of fun. We don't often get a chance to get dirty. Um, and you get to push the pigment around and fill in the tooth of the paper. Um, I also teach techniques where you're layering color, you're scumbling, and you're creating some beautiful light effects like sunsets. And uh, with pastel, there's a lot of techniques involved. It isn't difficult, but once you have those techniques, it's like a tool belt around your waist and you look at a scene and you pull out the correct technique for that scene. That's great. So besides learning painting skills and pastel techniques, what other outcomes have you noticed with your students in your classes? Well, my classes are skill building. So what I do is encourage you to look at your strengths and your weaknesses. So students learn to evaluate their work and not just automatically dismiss it and say, oh, this is terrible, but instead to look at what's working what they did correct in that painting and to look at what they can improve upon and build upon next time. So I train people to let go of perfectionism and to embrace impressionism. Mm, yes. So if you could tell me a bit about the atmosphere in your class, is it a very formal setting? Is it very strict? <laughs> well, you'll hear a lot of laughter and joy coming from my classes. They're fun and relaxing, although we are studying classical painting techniques. So I take people through some classical still life setups and concepts and classical uh, oil painting and acrylic painting techniques during the class. But I do it in a way that is fun and playful and allows people to explore and, and relax. Um, I find that if people don't take the work too seriously, but instead focus on the process, they will learn quicker and more accurately. You can build skills better by sprinkling it with love and encouragement rather than shouting over it, grow, grow, grow. Yes, love and encouragement, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, kind of in closing, what would you say to someone who is hesitant to sign up for one of your classes? Well, we need a challenge and none of us are getting any younger. And today, there is no better way you could feed your brain and your soul than by taking an art class. Art creates new neural pathways. It keeps your brain functioning and young. It also changes how you look at life. Once you discover values and even the color of air and light, you start to see the world the way an artist sees. And that awakens the awe and wonderment that we had as children and we may have lost along the way. Yes. Oh. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to uh, talk to me today about your classes. And um, <laughs> if anybody's interested in signing up, uh, we have links below for Sean's mm -hmm. classes. You can read the descriptions and you can sign up. So again, thank you so much, Sean. Thank you, Sarah. Appreciate your doing this.